Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again in your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, These are five things that men hate that women do. Right, ladies? So these are top five things that men do not like that women do in situationships, relationships, even marriage, right? These are some of the things that really grinds his gears. These are some of the things that really makes him so upset, so angry, so frustrated, so just powerless. Sometimes it might make him even insecure. Some of these things might make this man insecure, might make him intimidated by you, might make him jealous of you, might make him feel less of a man. Or just certain things that women do that just make men upset. A lot of men, they don't have power over you with some of these things. Some of the things that I'm about to name, a lot of men, they do not have any power over you. And that's the reason why they mad. Because they mad because you not going for the okie doke, right? You not falling for them little tricks. You not going to let him treat you no type of way. You not going to let him talk to you crazy. You not going to let him do nothing, right? A lot of men, they don't like when they can't get away with certain things. Or they don't like when, you know, a woman destroys his ego. He don't have no power over her or he jealous or he upset with her or something about this woman. Hey, I just don't like what she doing over there. I don't like the fact that she got a mind of her own. I don't like the fact that she is resisting my conquering, right? I'm trying to conquer this woman, get her wrapped around my finger. I'm trying to control and dominate this woman. And she making it hard for me. She giving me a hard time by not letting me use her. I want to use her. I want to manipulate her. I want to take advantage. But the fact that I can't and she not going for it, 
is why a lot of men hate and don't like a lot of times when women do these five things, okay? So ladies, without further ado, we gonna jump right into this video. And per usual, again, I'll give you my top five things that men hate that women do, okay? So we jumping right into it, we going number one. So number one, the first thing that men do not like, men hate, men just do not like when women do this. Number one is when you stand up for yourself. So, men hate, do not like women that stand up for themselves. I don't want you to talk back to me. I don't want you to resist. I don't want you to check me, right? A lot of times when you stand up for yourself, like, I'll give you an example. Let's just say this man, you know, he lying. Let's say he a liar. He lying to you, lying, whatever. You tell this man, I don't like liars. Next time you lie to me, I don't want to talk to you no more. Or you lie to me, I'm calling you out on your lie. I know you a lie. I see the proof, the evidence. You a liar. I know you a liar, right? So a lot of times when you confront a man or when you stand up for yourself or when you just don't want to be around the negativity, and you distance yourself, or you just confront him straight up. Hey, brother, you know, I don't like what you did back there. I don't like the way you treated me. I don't like the way you talked to me. I'm not tolerating none of that, right? Now, you got to get yourself together. Otherwise, you, we ain't going to have nothing, right? A lot of men, they don't like that. They don't like the fact that you got a mind of your own. You, you standing up for yourself. You going to speak up. You gonna check me? You gonna hold me accountable for disrespecting you? A lot of men don't like that. They want you to sit down, be quiet, and do whatever I say. I want you to be quiet, go in the kitchen and go make me a sandwich and let me cheat on you, let me lie to you, let me disrespect you, let me put my hands on you, let me cuss you out, let me do all these grimy, dirty things to you, and I need you just to accept it. I need you to be cool with me disrespecting you. I need you to be okay with me walking all over you. I need you to be okay with me lying and doing whatever. I don't want you to confront me and hold me accountable. I want it to be easy going when I can step all over you and it ain't going to be no pushback. He don't want no pushback. He don't want no talk back. If I tell you to do something, you better do it. But when you as a woman, when he tell you to do something, do this for me. Or I, you need to do this. Or I, I feel like you should do this. And you say, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I'm standing up for myself. And, and when you start setting boundaries... I'm going to tell you something. When you start setting boundaries with a man, you become a very, very dangerous woman. Why? Because a lot of men will not have no power over you. They don't have no control over you. Because you make it so that they have no choice but to respect you and your boundaries. I'm not going for that. You can't talk to me crazy. You might be able to raise your voice at them other women, but don't come over here trying to raise your voice because I ain't the one, right? Maybe you can go out and cheat on them other women, but cheat on me and it's over with, right? I'm not playing with you. Oh, you thought you could just lie and do whatever and treat me however, and I was just going to take it like, like one of these other girls? No, I'm not dealing with that. So when you confront a man, when you check a man, when you stand up for yourself, when you build up the courage to face him face to face and say, you need to get your act together. You got me messed up. I'm not going for it. I'm not handling it. Hey, next time you do that, it's over with. And you set these boundaries around you. Men absolutely hate boundaries. I'm going to tell you that right now. Men hate boundaries. Men want to be able to go as far as they want to go with you. Men want to be able to do whatever they want with you and you just supposed to accept it and be okay with whatever he wants, whether it's good or bad. It could be the most negative thing in the world. He wants you to go along with it, right? But when you got a mind of your own, you say, wait a minute, what you telling me ain't right. 
Or wait a minute, I got a mind of my own. I don't got to listen to you. Who are you? You not my daddy, right? A lot of you women, you looking like this man trying to tell you what to do. This man trying to tell you how to act, what to wear, where to go, who to talk to, who to be friends with. You know, this man trying to control your whole life. But when you say you can't control my whole life, I'm going to do what I want to do as a woman because I'm going to do what I want to do with my life. This is my life. How you going to tell me what to do with my life? I do what I want to do with my life. You know, a lot of men, they don't like that. They don't like the fact that they can't cheat on you and you stay. They don't like the fact that I can't cuss you out and I can't raise my voice and talk to you crazy. They don't like that because now he know that, hey, I can't assert my dominance over her. I can't put my foot down on this woman. I can't stick my chest out and show this woman that, you know, I'm the man. When I say go, she need to be quiet, sit down, whatever, right? So you as a woman, when, so you as a woman, you got to have a mind of your own. You got to set boundaries. You got to learn how to stand up for yourself and call him out. When a woman is not afraid to call a man out on his mess, when a woman is not afraid to confront a man about his actions, he knows he don't have no power over you. Oh, you standing up for yourself? How dare you stand up for yourself? How dare you not let me walk all over you? How dare you not let me cheat on you? I wanted to be able to cheat on you in peace. And you always stay there and let me do it. But you about to leave me. You about to walk about that door. Or you setting boundaries. Or you being distant. Or you pulling back. Or you, you know, stuff like that. And he don't like being held accountable. That's really what number one is all about. A lot of men, they do not want to be held accountable for their actions. They don't want to feel guilty for what they do. Even if this man consciously know what I'm doing, how I'm treating this girl is wrong. I'm treating this girl terrible. I'm walking all over her, using her, whatever. He know he doing it and he could get away with it as long as you let him get away with it. You know, as long as you quiet and you keep a mouth closed, he can get away with it. As long as you too scared, too shy, too timid, you afraid of conflict, you afraid of confrontation. As long as he know that you soft and you weak and you a weak woman and you ain't got no backbone to yourself. You don't have no self-love, no self-respect for yourself. You don't know your worth. A man, a man's worst fear is a woman that know her worth. I'm going to say that one more time. A man's worst fear in life is a woman that know her worth. A woman that know her worth, that's not going to tolerate his mess, that's going to stand up for herself, that's going to set boundaries, and that's going to hold him accountable for his actions. A lot of men do not like women that stand up for themselves, women that know their worth. Because how am I going to have power over somebody that is not dependent on me to give them that validation? Or somebody that does not, you know, respect me because I'm disrespecting them. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, the woman not going to respect you if you disrespecting her. Why should a woman listen to a man that obviously that man don't care nothing about her? What I'm listening to a man for and he don't even have my best interests. He treat me like trash, but he, he want me to follow his leadership. No, you know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. So a lot of women, you like, man, I don't need you. I'm okay. So a lot of women, you know, you just setting boundaries, letting this man know how far he can go with you. A lot of men, they know how far they can go with you. That's why they try you. They're going to try you anyways to see how far they can get with you. But you as a woman, it's up to you to let him know, solidify in his mind. Show him that you ain't the one. You got to show him, hey, the other girls you used to, they ain't me because I'm not going for it. Now, if you want to act right, you could be here. But if you're going to get the trip in, you can go. You know, so when you start setting boundaries 
and you tell him I'm about to leave or you telling him I'm not going to take it, men do not like women they cannot control. And they're intimidated by women who are really, really smart, women who really love themselves, women that really respect themselves. Men do not like it. When a lot of men, they want women that got low self-esteem. A lot of men, they really, for real, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of men... They look at the weakest woman they can find because she not going to put up no fight. This woman, she not going, this woman, she not going to talk back. She not going to do nothing. I need a woman that's weak. I need a woman that don't have no backbone. I need a woman that don't have no type of self-worth. I need a woman that's easy going. Why? So I can have complete control over her and I ain't got to hear her mouth talking back. I ain't got to hear her, you know, getting upset or setting boundaries and stuff. I do what I want to do when I want to do with this woman. And she going to let me do it because her self-esteem is so low. She just happy to have a man around. She just happy to have me around. She like me so much. She want me so bad. Or she just so insecure within herself. She's seeking out validation from me. She trying to get my approval. She chasing me. She got low self-esteem. I know this woman care about me more than I care about her. So I'm going to treat her that way. But when you as a woman, when you care about yourself more than you care about a man, that's another man's worst fear. Another worst fear a man has is a woman that cares more about herself, loves herself more than you love any man, your husband included. You should always love yourself. It shouldn't be no, because guess what? Everybody could leave. Your mama could leave you, not talk to you no more. Your best friend could leave you, not talk to you no more. The world could leave you, but you can't leave yourself. You know, God first and yourself second. You know what I'm saying? Put God first, always put yourself second. Everybody else come after that. You know, kids included. You can't take care of your kids if you can't take care of yourself. You know, how your kids going to depend on you and you not right. So you got to be, you got to take care of yourself and you got to be right to even take care of your kids. Therefore, you still come first before your kids. You still come first before your husband. You come first before your mama. You come first before everybody on this earth but God himself. Because you always got to be with you. If don't nobody else in the world care about you, you know you got your back. You know you're not going to switch up on you. Everybody can switch up on you. Everybody can leave you. Everybody, you know, your mama can switch up on you. Your best friend can switch up on you. You know, the people closest to you can switch up on you. But you ain't never going to switch up on yourself. So a woman that knows that, and a woman that, that holds herself on a high pedestal, a woman that says, hey, I love myself, I know my worth, I know I'm a prize, then a lot of men say, oh, no, nah, I can't deal with her. I got to find a woman with low self-esteem because this woman right here too powerful and she not going to let me run all over her. It's going to be hard for me to influence this woman. It's going to be hard for me to conquer her. It's going to be hard for me to manipulate her because how can I manipulate somebody that don't care or somebody that's too smart? I can't manipulate. I can't seduce nobody that got a mind of their own. I can only manipulate weak people, right? The weakest people are the easiest ones that to get manipulated. Okay, so that's number one. This man don't like when women set boundaries or when they stand up for themselves, okay? So number two, the second thing that men do not like, that men absolutely hate that women do, number two is men do not like when women say no. Men don't like when women tell them no. You know, so anytime you tell a man, no, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I don't want to do this. No, you can't live in my house rent free. No, you can't drive my car all day long and drop me off at work in my car while you ride around and do whatever. Then pick me up in my own car. No, get your own car. No, 
Get your own house. No, get your own apartment. Don't be trying to live off of me because you ain't got no place to stay or you staying with your mama or you staying with a friend or the place you staying at ain't all that. And me as a woman, you see what I got going on, right? So you over here being jealous of me because I got this nice crib or this nice apartment or I got this car or whatever and this man don't have access to it or he just simply want to use you for what you got. And when you tell him, no, you can't live with me. No, you got to go home. Where you got to go home. I need my house back. I need my space. You got to go. What you about to do? You got to go. You tell this man, no, I'm not about to, you know, spend all my money on you. No, I'm not about to, you know, just open my legs whenever. No, I'm not about to just, you know, bend over backwards for you, go all out my way for you. No, I don't feel like it. I don't want to. I I just don't want to for whatever reason. A lot of men, they do not like when women tell them no. Why? Because he want to have it his way again. He want to control you. He want it to be easy going. He don't want you to talk back. When you go against what he say, that is like, what's up? He looking at you like, wow, like you really not going to let me use you? I, I really can't use you for your car. I really can't use you for your apartment or your house. I really can't use you for sex. I really can't use you for, for I really can't use you for giving me money. I really can't use you for, you know, whatever he using you for. When you tell this man, no, you can't use me. You got to get your own or no, I don't feel like it. No, I don't want to. No, I'm okay right now. I just want to chill. I want to relax. I don't, I, I don't feel like getting up and doing that or I don't feel like doing this or I don't feel like, no, no. The answer is no. Get your own. Do it for yourself. No, you can't use me. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not tolerating this. No, 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 no. Capital N, capital O, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Okay, so you get it. No, anytime you tell a man no, watch how angry he get. Watch how furious he get. Watch how upset he get. Just try it. Tell your man no one time and see how upset he get over anything. It could be the smallest thing. Hey, baby, can you get up and go give me a bottle of water? No, I don't feel like it. My leg's tired. I don't feel like it. What? You not going to get up and get me a bottle of water? Ah! Going crazy, tripping. Look at him, tripping, right? Because he is the principle of when I tell you to do something, you do it. Not on your time, on my time, right? So, but when you say, hey, I'll get around to it when I get around to it. Or when you say just no, simply no. Or when you say, you know, maybe later on. Or, you know, you say maybe when I feel like it. Or maybe when, you know, whenever, when it's on your time, he don't like that. He want his way or the highway. A lot of men are really like that. They say, I want it my way or the highway. You got to say yes to me. Anything I ask for, anything I want, anything I'm thinking about, you better do it for me, right? And a lot of men don't even deserve all that power and control and, and, and dominance over you. For what? He treats you like trash. He treats you like trash or he's not a real man. You know, he's not a respectable man. You don't even respect him like that. Or not even just pass the respect. You just respect yourself so much that you just like, hey, I don't have to bend over backwards to make you happy. Or I don't have to feel like I got to go out my way to keep you or, or have you around or to make you like me, to make you want me. I ain't got to... I ain't got to chase you. I don't have to impress you. I don't have to be bending over backwards, breaking my neck to try to make this man happy for what? No, I don't want to. No, I'm okay. No, I'm chilling right now. No, I'm cool right now. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I don't want to. So men do not like when you say no and when you set boundaries and when you respect yourself so much and you set your standards and you set your qualifications and your expectations up high, 
Men don't like women with high standards. I'm looking for a woman with some low standards. I'm looking for a woman with no morals, no value. I'm looking for a woman that don't know herself. I need a woman that don't know herself. I need a woman that don't love herself. I need a woman that, you know, really dislike herself. Why? Because now I can have complete influence on her whole life and whatever I say go. But if she love herself, know her worth, and she don't need me or she's not desperate for my attention or desperate to be with me or my validation, then she's able to say, no, I don't want to do that. No. And if you get mad, brother, you just get mad. Oh, well, you just going to be over there mad. I don't care. <laughs> you just going to be mad. You, you mad because I told you no and I said boundaries? How you going to be mad at me because I don't want to do something that you want me to do when you feel like it? So you don't respect me and who I am, right? So that's number two. Anytime you tell a man no, watch how fast he get mad. When you tell a man no, he can't use you. He going to be so upset the fact that he cannot manipulate a woman, right? So that's number two. So number three. The third thing that men absolutely hate and despise and do not like that women do. Number three is having your own money or having more money than him. So men absolutely hate when a woman has her own money or especially not just your own money, right? That's one thing. But a lot of men get real upset when you got more money than them. Why? Because if you got more money than me, then you make me feel like I'm less of a man. Because how is this woman, how is this small, teeny, tiny, soft woman outdoing me, right? She's a woman. She gonna outdo me? You know, I'm supposed to be the man. I'm supposed to be the breadwinner. I'm supposed to be, you know, in charge. I'm supposed to be the one with all the power, all the resources. I'm supposed to be the one hunting and bringing back home the prey. You know, I'm supposed to be the one, you know, out there hustling and getting it. But this woman showed me that she can get it easier. She can get money easier and faster than I can. How is this woman winning in life? and achieving and obtaining all these resources so fast, she making me look bad as a man because you would think that, you know, stereotypically, whatever, a man is supposed to be, you know, the breadwinner or the man supposed to be, you know, have more money or make more money on average than a woman. So when a man see a woman making way more money than him or, you know, even a little bit of more money than him, especially a substantial amount, you know, let's say this man make 30, 40 K and you make a hundred, 150, right? Or even if you make 80 K, you, he might make 30 K, you make 80 K. Okay. Let's put it like that. You making more than double of his salary, right? He looking at you like, how is this woman doing it? I'm mad at her. I'm, I'm upset. I'm furious. I'm jealous. At the end of the day, that ain't nothing but jealousy. He comparing. Jealousy always comes from comparing your life or what you got going on to somebody else. That's the only way you get jealous when you compare. If you don't compare yourself to nobody, you can't be jealous of them because you don't see them as competition. The problem is a lot of men, you think they like you. You think they want you. You think that all that, they actually see you as competition. They say, how this woman outdoing me? I don't like that. I don't like the fact that she make me feel like I'm less of a man. She make me feel insecure. She make me feel like I'm not doing nothing out here. The All the hard work I'm doing. You know, I'm working hard in my job, but she over here making money effortlessly. She got a nicer car than me. She got a bigger house than me. Is she a woman? You know, so a lot of men, they just compare themselves to a woman. And that's the reason why he intimidated by you and he upset 
that you making more money than him because he compared himself and saying, how is this woman outshining a man, right? So it's just that, okay? And then on top of that is the fact that since the woman makes more money than me, now she got all the power. I don't have no power. I can't manipulate her with money. I can't flash no money in her face. I can't dangle no money in front of her head. I can't show her I got all this nice stuff. Look at my nice car. Yeah, you see my nice car? You see how impressed you are with my nice car? Yeah, I know them drawers coming off. Yeah, you gonna pull them drawers down as soon as you see my nice car or as soon as you see this stack of money on my ear or as soon as you see all this money I'm flashing all on my arm and all this money, money, money. You, as soon as you see my house, as soon as you see my, my apartment, that's going to get you hooked. I know it. That's going to get you hooked. Because all the other girls, they get hooked on my nice stuff. But when you as a woman, when you got nice stuff too, and your stuff might be even nicer than his, I can't even impress you. So I got to come up with extra ways to get this woman's attention outside of materialistic things and money. Uh, you know, a lot of men, they say, hey, as long as I got some money, I'm going to have these girls chasing me. As long as I got some money, I'm going to have these girls doing whatever for me. These women going to be willing to bend over backwards for the money. As long as I'm dangling money in front of their face, they going to be running and chasing after me. But when a man dangling money in your face and you sit there and you like, Okay, what's that money? Is that is that your gas money? Is that pocket change? What is that? that? Ain't no money, you know? Or I don't care about no money. I'm not impressed. I got my own money. What is that? What that money that you flashing? That's nothing to me, you know? Because I got my own money. So a man know I can't impress her. I can't manipulate her with money. I can't seduce her. I can't make her do what I want just because I got money. I can't attract her. She won't just come running and chasing after me because I got money. So how am I going to get this woman attention without money? What do I do? How do I get a woman's attention without flashing money and showing her I got money? And that's the problem. A lot of men, they don't have nothing else going on. They don't have no personality. They don't have no good communication skills. They don't know how to treat nobody. They boring. They lame. They just don't have good people skills. All that, they don't have no personality. They not funny. They just boring, right? Outside of the money. They don't have nothing to offer a woman. That's what it is. A lot of men, all they have is money. That's all they got. They don't have integrity. They're not mature. They're not emotionally available. They're not even smart. They just know how to get money the way they get money, but that's it. You know, they have nothing else to offer or bring to the table or offer a woman. That's all they got is money. So when a woman got money, now the money is off the table. Now the money cancel out. Okay, what else you got, brother? How else are you going to impress me? How else are you going to show me that you a good man for me? What else can you do? Because that money don't mean nothing. What else can you do? A lot of men don't like that because it forces them to come up with other ways to have to get you. And they don't have no other ways. All they had was money. So that's why they don't like it. They're intimidated. And they don't like when women got their own money. Because now you don't need me. You know, back in the day, a woman could not survive without a man's money. Women couldn't get bank accounts. Women couldn't own land. Women couldn't get driver's licenses. Women couldn't do a lot of stuff. Women couldn't do nothing. Women couldn't get credit cards. Women came a long way. So it was one point in time when a woman depended on a man for his money and stability. But now that you stable on your own, I don't have to accept and tolerate your mess just because you got some money. I don't have to stay here and get cheated on because you paying for my whole life. I don't got to be here. I can go. Or... I can afford to leave or you can't talk to me crazy because you got a little bit of money. I got money too. So you can't talk to me crazy. I don't need you 
or I'm not, you know, dependent on you to where I got to close my mouth or I got to hold my tongue. I got to bite my tongue because I don't want to say the wrong thing and you cut me off and now you cut me off of all the money and resources for my survival. I can survive on my own. So I ain't got to do what you say. So if you cut me off, brother, hey, or if I cut you off, brother, hey, it don't matter because I'm a woman and I got my own everything, you know? So a lot of men, they don't like the fact that women are no longer financially dependent on him. And they don't like the fact that you are a woman. The fact that you're a woman doing better in life than a man. A lot of men are misogynistic. A lot of men are narcissistic. A lot of men are sexist. A lot of men, guess what? They just think that men on top, women at the bottom, it's a man's world. Women better sit down and get in the kitchen, right? Have my babies, lay on your back, and get in the kitchen. And that's it. That's a lot of men really think that's a woman place is at the bottom, nothing, you know, and the man is at the top. So when it's an equal playing field or when you're doing better than him, now he like, wait a minute, that goes against all of my beliefs and ideologies of women. This woman doing better than me. So I thought women was down here, but this woman doing better than me. What does that say about me? That means I'm a loser. If I think that women are losers already just because and men are winners, but this woman is doing better than me, that must mean that I'm really a loser. If I lost to somebody that I consider a loser, what does that make me? A super loser. So that's why a lot of men get intimidated by a woman with money or more money than them, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth thing that men hate that women do in a situationship, relationship, or even a marriage, number four is when you ignore them, when you go no contact, and when you completely walk away and never talk to him ever again in your life. When you ignore a man, when you block a man, when you delete a man out your life because he been disrespecting you, when you pull back all your resources, you pull back the sex. You ain't giving him booty no more. He don't get no booty no more. The way he been treating you, he don't deserve no booty. He been dogging you out and he deserves some booty? No, nah, take the booty away. Oh, you want to disrespect me and you want me to cook and clean and do all this stuff? No, nah, I'm taking everything away. You know what? If it get real, real bad and he really disrespect you or he do something that rub you the wrong way or he do something that you can't come back from or he just really disrespect you in your face, and you leave and say, you know what? Instead of me just taking the sex away, taking my cooking and cleaning, taking away all my benefits that come with me as a woman, instead of me just taking all that away, how about I just take me, the whole thing away? How about that? I'm taking everything away. And I'll never talk to you again. Oh, you want to cheat on me? You thought I was a soft woman? You thought I was going to take you back after you cheated on me? You thought that I was going to let you cheat on me? No, nah, you cheat on me, it's over. Cut off, bye, delete, ignore, blocked, right? This man like, whoa, she really blocked me. After I cheated on her, she really blocked me. What? I don't like that. She really got the nerve to be done with me? She really going to leave me after I cheated? Oh, no, nah, she was supposed to stay. The man expected you to stay. He wanted you to stay. He automatically thought in his head, this woman going to stay. I'm going to cheat on her. She ain't going nowhere. I got this woman wrapped around my finger. She ain't going nowhere. I got this woman head gone. She sprung over me. She crazy over me. She craving me. She want me so bad. She need me in her life. She not going nowhere, right? And when you do go no contact, or you do pull back your resources and your benefits. And when you ultimately walk away and leave him alone and never ever have contact with him again in life, 
and you completely done, it's over with forever. A man, he does not like that because now he's being held accountable. Men do not like being held accountable for their actions. A lot of men do not like when women either A, hold them accountable, and B, is consequences behind their actions. I don't like consequences. I want to be rewarded, actually, you know? So when I cheat on you and I go have sex with this other woman, I still expect you to take me back and still give me sex. So essentially, you're rewarding him for his misbehavior. When a man cheat on you and then he has sex with that other girl and he can come back to you and have sex with you, what does that say to that man? Oh, so I got two booties. Even though I did something bad, this girl ain't went nowhere. She ain't left me, even though I cheated on her. So ultimately, I got two booties just because, right? So I'm winning right now. So he's being rewarded for his bad behavior. When you cut a man off and you don't talk to him no more and it's over and done with and all that, what? I don't have no access no more. You really gonna leave? You really gonna just walk away? What? So guess what? Now that forces him to treat you right because you are showing him his consequences behind his actions. So when a man gets to acting up, he gets to tripping and you be done with him and be gone and you ain't never coming back. But when you actually walk away and you leave a man, then he knows, hey, I'm not being rewarded. I'm being punished for my misbehavior. I have to take accountability for my misbehavior. You know, I got consequences behind my actions, so I know it's a negative response to what I'm doing is wrong. I know it's wrong, and you know, I gotta be punished and dealt with for what I did. And I gotta be dealt with for what I did, right? So a lot of men do not like when a woman walks away and she ignores him and blocks him and pulls back. Because now I don't have your access no more. I don't have your booty. I don't have your cooking and cleaning. I don't have you all around me wrapped up in my arms no more. I don't have your emotional support no more. I don't have you in my corner no more. I don't have your attention and affection no more. I don't got nothing. So that's a lot of times how you catch a man's attention. You catch a man's attention when you're not tolerating his mess and he know that you will leave if necessary. You got to make a man afraid of losing you. A lot of men, they don't like the fact that they're afraid of losing you because now that means that you got all the power and not me. I don't like the fact that you're able to walk away from me. I want the power. I want you to beg to stay with me. Even though I hurt you and I cheat and lie, I still want you to stay because you need me. But the fact that you love yourself enough to leave me and you don't need me and you okay with walking away and never talking to me again, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that I don't have no power and control over you, right? So that's number four. So number five. The fifth and last and final thing that men absolutely hate that women do. Number five is men do not like being in competition with other men. So a lot of men, they get jealous and they get intimidated and all that because a lot of men find you attractive, right? Let's say you're a very, very beautiful woman. You very beautiful. You look good. Your body look good. You pretty in the face. You smell good. You clean. You well put together. You know, you got nice clothes. You got nice, you look good, right? You look well put together, right? You are a very, very beautiful woman, okay? You catch everybody's attention. You know, you over here breaking people necks. Every time somebody look and they and they and they see you, they breaking their neck to try to look at you. They looking at you, you know, because you just so beautiful. Guess what? A lot of men, even though you beautiful and they like the fact that you beautiful, because that's the whole reason why he talking to you, because he found you attractive. He don't like the fact that other men also find you attractive. Even if you not entertaining the other guys, you might be faithful to me. You might only talk to me. 
you might not be interested in those other guys, but the fact that those other guys are interested in you, I don't like that. The fact that it's better men out there, and again, he's comparing himself, right? He's comparing himself to other men. He's thinking about other men that may be taller than him, you know, look better than him, got more money than him, you know, got a nicer car, nicer house. He don't want nobody else that come along better to take you. He don't want nobody else to try to approach you and get your number, trying to holler at you, or they trying to, you know, inbox you online or DM you online. I don't like the fact that you got all this male attention. And you as a woman, you like, how is that my fault that I'm beautiful and men like me? How is that my fault that I'm, I look good and people like me? That's not my fault. It's not your fault. It don't got nothing to do with you. It got everything to do with him. He insecure. He don't feel like he that guy. He don't feel like he's that guy. He doesn't have high self-esteem. If his self-esteem was high, he wouldn't even see no other men. He won't be thinking about no other men. He won't be worried about another man taking his spot or you running off with another man or another man attracting you. If he loves himself, and he knows his worth, he gonna be like, hey, you know, that's my woman. I know my woman, I trust her, and I'm not worried about no other guys, because even if they got more money than me, or even if they taller or whatever, guess what? They not me. Guess what? They still not better than me. They still not me, right? So when a man got confidence, he not jealous and not trying to control you from other men, you know? So a lot of men, this is what they do. I don't want nobody else to have you, right? So I got to control your life and make sure that, yes, you an attractive woman and you attractive to me, but I don't want nobody else to get the wrong idea or to be attracted to you or to take you away from me, right? So I don't want you to wear certain clothes. That's why a lot of men that's really insecure, they don't want you to wear certain things. I don't want you to wear that short little skirt. I don't want you to wear this and that. And I don't want you to wear that dress. You know, I don't want you to wear that skirt. I don't want you to wear that dress. You need to change your clothes. Take that off. Change your clothes. You know, a lot of men, they want you to change your clothes. Don't wear this. Don't wear that. Why? Because they're terrified of male attention. And they know that men will literally, they don't care that you got a boyfriend. They don't care you got a husband. They don't care. They will still talk to you. Still try to get your number. Still try to, you know, whatever. And they could possibly influence you and take you away. He don't want a better man or a better option to come up. So he try to keep you in the house. You know, I want you completely covered head to toe. I want you to be in the house. I don't want to take you out and expose you to the world. I don't want you. I want you to be here with me in the house. Or, you know, he trying to control you because he don't want other men to take you away. Right. Because he is insecure and he compare himself to other men. And ultimately, a lot of men, they honestly feel like you're out of their league. They feel like, hey, this woman, she out of my league. I'm lucky to be with her. I really lucked up to be with her. It's a blessing and all that that I'm even with this woman. So I know that, you know, she really gave me a chance. A lot of men, they know this woman gave me a chance. She really probably felt sorry for me or she really, or she just decided to give me a chance or, you know, maybe she do like me, but maybe I know I'm not necessarily her type or I know that it's better men out there. So which puts him in an insecure state and a jealous state and a controlling state ultimately so that you don't go nowhere and you don't wander off with nobody else, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five things that men absolutely hate that women do. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me and I'm out of here. So till the next video.